my pump won't prime. Where do you start? The first thing I do, the very first thing I do is have them check the lower check ball. And so what I'll typically do, and everybody's probably going to have a different way, if the pump has been sitting for a while and it won't prime, I'm going to remove the suction. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check that check ball. I'll put this is a great tool. Be careful you don't jam a screwdriver up in there. I tend to take a pen and stick it up and ruin my pen. Put your, if you put something underneath here, a wooden dial, uh, something that's not real sharp, you can feel the check ball. Sometimes what happens is that check ball is going to be stuck. You just break it loose and then the pump will work. That don't fix it, then take it apart and remove the cage. So, and that one came off nice and easy. Yeah. If that cage don't want to come off, there's a, there's a little circlips in here and it gets full of dried paint. So take it to a safe location, put a torch to it and make it hot. And that just melts the paint in behind that little circlips and it pops right off. So you want to clean the ball, clean the seat, make sure that there's no debris there. And you want to inspect the seat and if you see a, you know, a vertical line, you're going to have to put a new one in. 90% of the time, they're going to be fine. So that ball just rusts on there like that. So when your piston rod is in the downstroke, it's sealing the material, not going to allow it to push down through the ball. In the upstroke, it lifts, and it allows the cylinder to be filled. The other issue you get sometimes is you have a pump where a customer has been working on it, and working on it. You put a little beaker here somewhere, just a cup. And what happens is, if, if they've been running this pump for a while, cylinder got warm from them stroking and stroking and stroking and it's dry as a bone even though you have a pump in working condition sometimes they're a bear to prime because it, it, it can't get a vacuum so in that case just take it like this and then just pick up right away and that way you can test your pump sometimes you'll have the occasional customer who will be trying to paint material that the pump's not designed for. Like some really viscous latex paint. And then they have an easy mix suction rod on you. Well, that pump's not gonna pump. Do you ever go to Wendy's and buy a smoothie? This is when we could go in and get food yet. And, and get the wrong straw for it? Anybody ever do that? What happens? You can't get it in your mouth. Pumps are the same way. If you have paint that's thick and you're trying to suck it through suction rods that are small, it's too much vacuum. Pumps have very little vacuum capabilities. They have great pressure, but very little vacuum. So if you have thick paint, small suction rod, it's not going to pump it. So if you're not sure that the paint is too thick, have them flip the solvent or water and have them run the pump that way. That's the first thing I always do if I'm suspicious that it's thick paint. The other thing that causes pumps not to prime, and, and this is one that happens more than you might think. Customer took the pump apart, oh yeah, I took the pump apart, it's perfectly clean. They put this cup seal on upside down. How many people have had that happen? Yeah. They put it on upside down, and sometimes the pump will actually prime and, and run sporadically, but it don't run right. And uh, so watch for that, keep that in the back of your mind. The next step after you've gone through these steps is remove the hose. Now, when you do that, make sure your pressure is low and you should hold a rag over it and then cycle the pump. If it pumps then, then your problem is bad hose, seriously plugged up filter, or you have a problem here. So then the next step would be to put the hose on here and disconnect the gun to see if you have flow. Believe it or not, you wouldn't believe how many times people say, my pump won't prime, and they have a needle on the gun that's broken. You know, we've had sometimes the Excite gun, the little ball breaks off from the tip, and it lodges, and we're gonna go over this gun in more detail, but it'll lodge right in, and it feels like you're pulling the trigger, but you're not, because it's stuck. I've had people working on pumps for hours already only to determine that there's a problem with the gun.